guys welcome to sex in the city Ugh, who am i kidding this is not like sex in the city at all it's just a lot of city and i guess there is a lot of shoes but anyways <laughs> let's get back to what this video is actually about so today i'm going to help you guys channel your inner carrie bradshaw and fashionista because i'm always talking about my clothes and i'm always talking about how much i love fashion but i'm never really telling you um how to find your own personal style so today i thought it would be fun to share with you guys my little tips and tricks to finding your own inner fashion goddess so here we go how to find your inner fashionista or i guess Fashionisto, any guys out there? Hi guys. Um, so here we go. How to find your personal style. Featuring a bunch of very extra clothing. <laughs> So tip number one is to find yourself two style icons. One, which is more of an aspirational look. You guys know I love Kim Kardashian, so I just think she has like the coolest wardrobe ever um, and is definitely goals. While this is an everyday look, um, it's definitely something that I can pull from and use as inspiration in my own everyday wardrobe. And the second person that you're going to want to use is someone who has kind of a similar look to you. I love Carly Bible. You guys totally know her because she's like the most coolest YouTuber ever. But um, we and her don't really look alike, but she does have dark hair and loves to wear dark makeup. And we're both petite, so I always look to her because I know that whatever she's wearing is probably going to look kind of similar on me. So if I love her outfit, which 900% of the time I do, I will go ahead and take cues from her because I know if she's wearing it and looks great, it'll probably look great on me too. Yes, Carly, if for some reason you ever see this video, I freaking love you. Thanks for being amazing. Okay, continuing. <laughs> for instance, one of these outfits like this, great for inspiration because all it is is really a jean jacket and some clear boots, so check it out. So I just went ahead and made it my own, got a ripped jean jacket, threw on a crystally choker because I just freaking love these. And then I happened to find a complete dupe of her boots. So I freaking just love these. These are from, of course, Lola's um, Cape Robin is actually the brand. So there you go. Style inspo by Kimmy, but personal style by you. <laughs> Tip number two is learn your body type and what flatters it. So I pulled out this um, really great t-shirt that I wear actually all the time, but this is something that is a good example. I'm a little smaller, but I have a bigger chest, so this doesn't really look that good on me. As you can see, I just kind of look like a box. So I would usually opt for the same dress in a slightly tighter fit because that will just flatter my body just a little bit more. If you want to style it a little differently, that is where you're going to be able to put your own personal flair on it. Like there you go, add some cool shoes with a new tie up, and now it looks like a totally banging outfit. Definitely wear some booty shorts under this though, because this is a little short, so maybe don't tie it up that high. But point is, you can see how the ugly t-shirt instantly got cute. Mm -mm -mm. Something that you might not even think about when you're trying to find your own style, go through your closet and see what you already have because it's usually a good indication of things that you like. There's actually a lot of things to look for when you're going through your closet. This is my closet, by the way, you guys. Oh, my little beautiful renovated closet that I redid my whole self. Anyways, not important. So. Things to look for when you're going through your closet. First of all, pay attention to colors because if you have a bunch of black things or a bunch of white things or a bunch of pink things, that's probably an indication that you feel good in that color. So focus on it, why not? Who cares if you only wear three or four colors? If those are the colors that you feel best in, maybe that's just what your personal style is going to be. Also, look for colors that are flattering to you. Like, my eyes look great with grayish brown colors because my eyes are kind of a gray brown. Um, that totally brings out my eyes. So if you have green eyes, blue eyes, wear colors that complement your face because those are colors that are gonna make you feel beautiful and look beautiful all at the same time. Also, pay attention to things that you have multiples of. Like, if you're going through your closet and you realize, oh, I have 18 faux white fur coats. Maybe that's an indication that you really like the way you look and feel in those. So maybe that's something that you should look for in the future when you're shopping. Another good tip is to make a list. Think about what you do during the week. Like, if you're a lawyer, you probably don't need 800 sparkly cocktail dresses. But um, if you're like... Maybe if you're a cocktail waitress, maybe you need 10,000 sparkly cocktail dresses. So think about what you need when you go shopping because that's gonna help your closet develop more into a cohesive little personal style type thing. Um, just, you know, helps with the budget and helps with making your wardrobe stuff you can actually wear. Oh, my crystal chandelier is in the way. This is honestly like such a goals problem. Okay, anyways, so number one tip, honestly, is accessorizing because that is what is going to give your personal style that personal flair. Like signature jewelry, crazy signature purses, signature rings, any of these things are fun ways to accessorize and switch up any look and make you look fabulous and accessorize your style. Yes, honey. 
Alrighty, so when it comes to basics, accessories is where it's at, you guys. So as you can see, look at this. This is super boring. Literally nothing special about this at all. It is a black tube top and black leggings, both from Forever 21. Um, I think this whole outfit was like $3.99 or something ridiculous. So check it out, though, when you style it. Throw in a cool necklace. Look at that. Totally changes the whole feel of the outfit. Grab a cool purse. Yes, this is a dupe. I will do a dupe purse video soon. I promise you I'm just waiting for some more to come in the mail. And then throw on some cool shoes. These, of course, are from my beloved Lola's Chutique, but are so cute. And just by throwing on those couple of things, you automatically look like an Instagram baddie ready to take on the town. <laughs> Like literally, just by accessorizing it differently, this one outfit can be worn so many different ways, and that is what style is all about. Being able to make something into something that it maybe wasn't before. Damn, this is great. What a look. Ooh, ooh. Killa. Change the jacket, change the shoes. Totally different outfit. Even though it's actually the same outfit magic of fashion if you can get some awesome shoes literally this is where half of my style comes from is my shoes like honest to god if you have a cool shoe collection basically it's just by default you're going to be considered stylish because this is where all of your outfits can draw inspiration from and instantly look amaze another tip pay attention to trends like obviously chokers are all the rage right now but never be afraid to make trends your own if you know faux fur is in Try getting a pink one. If you know chokers are in, make your own. That way, you will add your own personal flair to something that's already trendy, which is quite possibly the trendiest thing to do. Also, try matching your mood to your outfit. If you're in a bad mood or you just feel, like, powerful and dark, maybe wear black. And if you feel angelic and cheerful and feel like channeling your inner chicken, maybe throw on some white. On a similar note, if you find yourself constantly drawn to something like I love gaudy, outrageous things, wear gaudy, outrageous things! Personal style is just that personal, so if you like it, wear it. Who cares? Call me tacky all you want. I'm gonna be sparkly and freaking fabulous. Like, go ahead, mix and match, get crazy. Wear a wild pink trench coat with satin underneath and thigh-high boots. Who cares? Literally, fashion is supposed to be fun. So wear whatever you want, whatever you think might go together, even if it doesn't go together. It's definitely going to be a look. <laughs> By the way, guys, don't forget, cheap clothes can be amazing clothes. You don't need a million bucks to have personal style. Like, honestly, you can look better than everyone else with millions of dollars, as long as you know how to work it. Mm -mm -mm. Tip number whatever number we're on, find your own signature things that will make your own personal style stand out. For instance, I always, always, always am wearing an anklet on my left foot, um, so that's kind of like my signature thing. And same with my nails, I always have them in total claw-like form, um, like today. Ooh, yes, look at that. I also have a signature color, so they're always nude, and sometimes for a pop of something fun, I put red underneath the bottom. You can see the tutorial um, somewhere on my channel. Um, but that is a great way to give everything you do a little personal touch. By the way, you guys, don't forget, confidence is key. So when you're trying to find your personal style, literally find what makes you feel the best, um, because that is gonna shine through no matter what you're wearing, and you will look amazing to the outside eye, even if you don't really know what you're doing. <laughs> Also, you guys, do your hair, do your makeup, do your full face, coordinate the lips with your shut, uh, because that almost sounded like a swear word. I don't know where this accent came from. Anyways, um, so if you coordinate your whole look, then you're going to feel even better, because that is what really creates the best kind of looks, is if you feel amazing, and your hair is done, your makeup is done, and you're looking great, what you're wearing is almost irrelevant, because you're going to look great in anything. So there you have it, you guys. I hope you enjoyed all of my little fashion tips and tricks um, to finding your own personal style. So as always, I love you guys so very much and all my socials if you have any questions, comments, concerns, or want to see more wild pics of my ridiculous outfits, or if you want to share your wild pics of your ridiculous outfits with me, go ahead and tag me. It's all at Amber Scholl. Um, I love interacting with you guys on there. It really, honestly, truly is the joy of my lifetime. So I will see you guys super soon. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel for lots more weird fun, and I will see you guys next time. Kisses. I love you so much. It hurts me. From my inner Carrie Bradshaw to yours. Kisses till next time, you guys. XO. Mm -mm 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 -mm. This is a freaking look. Let me tell ya. Also, I got that glow kit today. Shit. That is some glowy howie. <laughs> I should not put this in the video.